He would literally take my card and say you're not paying and give me my card back. There's no way I found Cookie Lol in Korea. Why do I have TTV Cookie Lol on my team? Bro, what even is this? And the first thing he says is Poppy Annie. I'd honestly paid seven dollars for one meal. Yeah, but you know what the worst part is? When I went out with him like two days ago, he looked at me and he said, Oh, you made me pay for the other shit? I'm gonna run your bill up tonight, boy. And I was like, what? And then he just started spam ordering a bunch of shit. And whenever he would finish, he would say, Oh, <laughs> tabs on Dantas tonight. Let's order another round. The bastard. Oh my god, Cookie Lola smurfing. <laughs> Why is it every time this guy gets a kill, he names a Yordle? Bro, she's like a thousand years old. What's wrong with that? Daddy, right? <sighs> I mean, in my car, I could have literally. Whatever. When I said Lulu's a thousand years old, he said my bad. Dantas, I love how childish you are. Dude, what is this? Why is this guy saying this? What, what is he saying? <laughs> and the worst part is, I don't even think this is like an English shooter. I swear to God, it's a Korean guy. Why, why is he saying these things to me? Wait, do you guys think that's actually the real cookie law, by the way? Or is it like a fake? The allegations are one thing. But entering a shutdown to the enemy ball lane? That's unforgivable. Mm. Do I kill this guy? Oh my god, I shouldn't fear. Akali, there you go. I mean, all my Akali had to do that was the bare minimum. I did literally everything. <laughs> Me when a Shenzhen carries my game in low masters, maybe he's not that bad. <laughs> you know, I've actually always said, I think the only reason his Shenzhen got cancelled as hard as he did, like, I'm not even kidding, is because he would always int. So, like, already, people didn't really like him because he would int all their games and stuff. So, the second that they found something, like... Like against him, they all just like said, "Oh fuck it." Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> if a Shenzhen was rank one, <laughs> oh my. There's no fucking way. <laughs> Has Shinshin existing caused the destruction of Boy Boy is the most insane part of the story? <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, you know what it's like? It's like Boy Boy drew the stake into Shinshin's heart, and then with Shinshin's last breath, he just like uttered the curse that made it so that Boy Boy, like, he like Thanos snapped Boy Boy with his like final. It was like final seconds. Holy shit, I actually dodged the fucking uh, Vexalt. I'm the goat. What happened with Boy Boy? So essentially the way this story went down is that Hashinchin was getting cancelled for like a lot of things. And then Voiboy was one of the main people speaking out against him. And then it actually started this like Voiboy versus Hashinchin rivalry where Voiboy was like saying, yeah, Hashinchin's a bad person. And then uh, Hashinchin was saying, oh, Voiboy's a bad person, whatever. And then, and then what ended up happening is that um, Hashinchin ends up getting banned on Twitch. And then Hashinchin's like core following ends up like going crazy on Voiboy. And then Voiboy couldn't deal with like the 
the like mental i guess stress uh because he had like literally thousands of people time to like and all that stuff so then after that he just like quit streaming and he hasn't like actually streamed since are people unironically defending i mean it's because people don't understand like okay so essentially the thing about the whole like hashinshin thing is that um so some of the things he was accused of he did do and then some of it he didn't do and it was like doctored and stuff right but the things that he did do even though they were like morally i guess wrong um they weren't necessarily illegal right so that's why the the whole thing about this story is that he was never convicted by the fbi but it didn't mean that he didn't do anything right all it meant was that the things that he did do weren't actually illegal and that's why like a lot of people forget to make that like connection so then it's like people will be like oh no but he never went to prison so he's like innocent but i mean like from a legal perspective he is right but not necessarily from like the moral one he was never convicted which means he was clear so i act morally superior well bro being clear from a legal perspective doesn't necessarily mean you're morally absolved of anything right if i okay so like let me give you an example if a struggling single mother right drops ten thousand dollars on the ground and that's literally her entire life savings right and i go and i pick it up right it's not illegal what I did because I'm not stealing from her. But by not giving the money, it's like, it's a morally <laughs> good thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the thing is that making single mothers have to grind harder is actually a morally good thing, right? No, I'm kidding. But yeah, no. So it's like, just because it's not illegal doesn't mean it's not immoral, right? Why do so many YouTubers and streamers turn out to be groomers? I mean, okay, so there's actually like a very, very, very easy answer. Um... Hold on. Because that's actually something that I've, like, wondered myself, too. Like, why do so many people get, like, uh, canceled all that shit, right? Like, why do so many people do stuff like that? And it's, like, very easy answer. So, the thing is, most of the streamers are people that play video games 12 hours a day, right? They play video games 12 hours a day. They've been shut in their entire lives. Like, they never really went out. They never really had social interaction, right? I'm one of them, okay? I'm, like, a guy who's, like, never really gone out, never done all these things, okay? And then the problem is that when they start building up this, like, online following... The issue is that some of them don't have this mental switch in their brain that says not all attention is good attention, right? So it's like they'll take attention from literally anyone as long as that person's giving them attention because they've been attention starved for literal years. And they don't have that click in their brain that says, okay, maybe there are certain people that I shouldn't talk to, right? So they just talk to like everyone, right? It's just like they don't have that mental switch in their brain that does like the warning signs when like they get DM'd by someone that's like let's say 16 and they don't you know like they don't they don't say like oh maybe I shouldn't do this they just like go for it when they shouldn't right Ah Dantes you're one of them nope Katachungus because I always realized that that wasn't the way to go that's why my girlfriend is 22 TF Blade next? Nope. TF Blade's literally the last guy that would ever get cancelled for anything like that. TF Blade doesn't even respond to like Instagram DMs of like girls or shit like that. I actually talked to him about it. He was like, nah, just like CBA that whole bullshit. So he just like six to IRL. Like TF Blade's one of the very, very, very few streamers who it's like he grinds, but then after he grinds, he like has a life IRL. So he doesn't just like stay chronically online. <sighs> there was a whole drama in Poland about PDF YouTubers. Even the government got involved for some reason. Yeah, maybe the reason they got involved is because it's illegal. <laughs> yeah, it's like... Nice. How big was Hashinshin before getting banned? Um, 
Uh, so, okay, I think his follower count on Twitch was something like two to 300,000. And when it would come to viewers, it would... The thing is, I, I actually, like, knew what Hashinchin's uh, viewer count always was. And the reason why is because before he had gotten banned, uh, and before all the allegations had, like, come out against him... Um... Hold on one second. Uh, Karismai used to be, like, uh, friends with him, right? And since I was, like, friends with Karismai, I would, like, sometimes get, like, Discord calls with him and stuff like that. Because they would do, like, um... We would do, like, group calls in China before everything had come out, okay? So, the thing about his Shin Shin is that he would normally have somewhere between, like, one to 3,000 viewers. But he was, like, okay, unironically, his Shin Shin was, like, the force in of League. I'm not even kidding when I say that. And the reason why was because this guy didn't care about his viewer count. There would be some days on stream where he would randomly just watch, like, hours long documentaries and his viewer count would tank to like 500 and he wouldn't care and like other days he would just play these like random fucking games and get like 1k viewers and not care and then other days he would like play league go on rants and peak like 3 to 4k viewers so it's like he was like one of the really big names back in the day like actually one of the big names You know what, let me just abyss a mask, just so I can get the power spike right now. Bro, this guy's are just taking all my shun, there's nothing I can do about it because he has fucking Hallbreaker. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, top lane's weak, by the way, guys. This guy can sit here at 8 and 9, and he literally just, like... Wins no matter. One. <sighs> yeah, nice. But now when I get to there, it's already gonna be fucking gone. Cool. Wait, does Akari still this in time? We need to get soft. We actually want to win. I swear, we need like a little power spike. Ah! Uh... No, 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 no! Don't hit it! Don't hit it! Don't my. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Least re your health player, dude. Whatever, try to end now. Wait, so tell me Yas was just sidelining bot again. I mean, even if you ult me, you never kill me. Worst case scenario, I have a Serac shield. Can someone shove out bots so that if Yasuo has CP, it doesn't just straight up on the game? And then we can just play 4 for Baron? Because I'm really strong enough to 1v5 right now with the items I have. He doesn't have... Okay, thank Christ. Wait, doesn't... Wait, doesn't this build into Randuin's? What? I used to. I mean, the enemy team literally can't win because I'm as strong as I am, but it's like... They're making the game hard. Alright guys, I have a good news now. The good news is I'm 6 items with Cloud Soul and Baron buff as fucking Hecarim with 15 kills. And the enemy team is about to know why that's good news for me. I saw Sarax. Perfect. <laughs> All right.
Alright, nice. We actually won. Making him count this just wins? Not necessarily. Because the good news is his ADC was 316, his top laner was perma splitting, and his comp was fucking ass, and his mid laner was also AP, so all I had to do was build the Bissell Mask, and I was good. <sighs> I just say one shake now. I mean, plus 28 is good enough. How did I fix my MMR? I'm getting 17, losing 27 in Emerald 4. The only way is to demote. Nowadays, you can fix your MMR by wind shaking. You can only fix your MMR by like winning a lot and then losing a lot and then winning a lot again and then losing a lot. Lost streaks fix MMR, not win streaks.